Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back again as promised. I want to do a, a package opening um, from Light in the Box. Um, I know some of you might have heard from about them. Some of you um, might not know about them. Some might have ordered from them before. Um, this is actually the first time I've ordered from them. Um, so it's going to be two eyeshadow palettes. I know I've got a thing for eyeshadow palettes this this season for some reason. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like I didn't have enough fall colors to wear. I had a lot of like summer colors and, and spring colors and I needed some more darker colors for the fall and darker colors that will look good on me. So, um, I saw these palettes on Light in the Box, and I don't know if it's a company based in China, um, but uh, they charge for shipping, and it takes a long time to get here. Like, I've waited over a month for my package. There is no tracking. You can't track it if it's under a certain amount, which I don't like, and... Um, there is no way of me contacting customer service. Like I even had two questions about two other uh, items I wanted to purchase, but I just asked them like what it was made of. I want to know what material it is because it's like one of these uh, makeup trays you can put on your dressing table and put like your perfumes and stuff in there. It's a nice rose design. Um, but they just, the, I don't know who it was that got back to me for both, both items that I asked about the same response was, oh, we have to get in contact with the seller and that might take a while. That's it. Nothing else after that. They didn't even come back to me and said anything else. So I just said, well, you know what? I'm going to open this package, see what the quality is like. If I don't like it, I won't be ordering from them again because they don't give you a straight answer when you ask something. And, you know, if they're running a business, they should be able to give the customer a response. Like, you know, so let me see what quality it is. I know a lot of people don't like to order um, makeup stuff from China or those other places because they think it's harmful. But um, sometimes the makeup we use, we don't even know where it's made, you know. So it's a chance you're going to take. And it's not like I'm going to wear them every day. So I just wanted to see what they look like. So this is the package. It's got my address on the front. It doesn't even say it's from them. But I figured, well, I can feel two items in there. So it must be that package. And it says... China so it was it's probably the same thing um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open it I'm wearing the highlighter from the Carly Bible palette today and I've tried out the eyeshadow from the others the really uh, slim uh, palette that I bought for brown eyes I tried out some colors on that one as well so the Carly Bible palette does have a smell when you open it, like to go and put the colors on. You can get a smell from it, but I mean, it's not so offending that it's going to kill you or anything. So I, I can't describe the color, you know, so yeah. Okay, what did I order? Okay, so the first one is this palette. It's it's a 32-piece eyeshadow palette. It looks like it's got some pretty nice colors in there. Mm -hmm. yeah, I've got a thing for palettes this time. I don't know why, but I like trying out uh, new colors and stuff. And I'm kind of scared to like try and mix them and stuff. So it's got, it comes out of this case here and then it's wrapped with a plastic. I'm just going to go and remove the plastic from here. So. 
So yeah, I've, I know somebody else had said they ordered from Light in the Box and they're waiting on their packet. So they take a really long time for shipping. And like I said, there is no way of you tracking it or finding out the status or anything. So I kind of don't like that because you're waiting over a month and you're wondering, well, did it get lost in the mail or did it go to the wrong place or what's going on, you know? And there's no way of tracking it. So, I've taken some of the plastic off. I don't like plastic because it tends to stick to me like styrofoam and I hate that. Huh. It's got like a tricky way of opening it so okay oh, it's not a bad palette it comes with a little brush so these are the colors I don't remember what I paid for this but I'm gonna have to go back and check I like the colors I love the brown uh, shimmery looking ones so let me try some out and see how good oh yeah I've tried this one here on my my wrist. So, um, what else? They seem pretty good. I just tried that one there. I'll show you which one that was. It's this one here. It's pretty nice. Um, I'll try maybe a like a burgundy kind of color. Can't really tell, huh? <clears throat> so that was this one right here. So they seem to work good. They seem to give a lot of color, so that's a good thing. It's really nice. I like it. It's cheap, but you know, you, you pay cheap for it, so you get what you pay for, right? So it's got 32 colors in there. And that's the packaging. And then the other one. I don't know I ordered this one. I thought it was a different kind of palette. I'm going to have to go and look must be a dupe because it was it wasn't expensive looks this the package is all scratchy oh yeah the mirror is all coming apart you see that so that's no good So that's these colors here and the mirror is out and then it has the brush. It's not the real one, I can tell straight away because it wouldn't be cheap like that that a mirror will fall out. So. I didn't remember it was this because sometimes in the picture they don't show you they just show you it open like this so you say well oh those colors are nice but you don't know it's naked three at well a dupe for naked three right okay let me swatch some colors and see what they look like I'll show you which one that is it's called buzz so it's this one right here, Buzz. And then I'm going to try this one here. Looking like a brony color. It's called Trick. This one here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then this one is called Dust. Where can I swatch this so you can see it properly? Dust is pretty light. Yeah, 
Yeah. It's pretty light, that one. That is, uh, dust. So, yeah. A cheap palette, but I don't know. I'll just experiment with it and see what it, how it is and stuff like that. But I've asked Santa Claus for the real naked tree for Christmas, so I'm hoping I've been a good enough girl to get that. Along with some other stuff I wanted too, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, this is a little back in there. Yeah, so that was my two palettes. My gland seemed to not be so bad. I, it wasn't painful this morning when I woke up, so must be getting better but if I eat I have to like do it on this side because it it bugs the other side even when I'm sleeping I'm a side sleeper so I tend to sleep on this side a lot and it you know makes it worse so I gotta try not to sleep on that side too much but I'm hoping it gets better before I we, we take that trip to the city because I don't want to go with a swollen face, you know what I mean? And I hope I can get my makeup to look nice. Because you know how it is. When you go there, you're going to try to do a nice makeup look. And then it doesn't come out as nice as you're hoping. But we'll see. I'm, I'm hoping I can get some time to do my brows. They need to be done. It's been a long time. Probably over a year or something. I can even do it here, but it's just the timing, like I'll probably take about half an hour or so and then if he takes me to town to do that, then I guess he can go to his hardware store because he always has to go there. So while he's doing that, I can probably go get my brows done, but I'll see if I can fit it in and when we go to do our shopping, but I'm getting excited about that because... I'm trying to pick out what clothes I'm gonna wear and stuff like that. It's so fun. I steamed some yesterday because some of them were folded on the shelves in the closet. So they kind of like have that mark right where it was folded. So I tried to steam it. It's probably gonna get marked again when you put it in the suitcase, but we'll see. I have a, a small steamer I can travel with, but we're ta we're going to be taking enough luggage to travel with that too. If there is room in our in our suitcase, I could probably squeeze it in, but we'll see. Because I'll probably take my um, Infinity Pro uh, styler as well, the curl one, uh, with me because I might do that. We'll see, but um. So it's very cold, well not too cold today, but um, lots of snow. It started snowing from last night. So I did a video yesterday morning um, showing you everything was silver and frosted. Looked like a real nice scenery for a postcard or something. And then today it's snowing. Well, it looks like it stopped now, but it was just blowing snow in your eyes, nose, mouth. Oh my goodness, it was terrible. I took him for a walk and I had to do a couple house checks and stuff. So there was a lot of snow out there because it snowed all night. I could have heard it. It was blowing it into the glass. I can hear the sound of it. I was wondering what it was, but then when I turned the lights on and I looked out there I realized that it was blowing the snow against the glass so it was making that sound so yeah so it's that time of year and um, yes I'm gonna have to pack some extra layers when we go there because they probably have more snow than we do because they had started having snow earlier than us this time so I think I'm gonna have to pack a lot of stuff, but we'll see. And um, I have to dye my hair, and I'm gonna probably try this color. Um, I don't know how it'll look, but we'll see. I'll just try it. I washed my hair yesterday, so it's nice and clean. I don't have any product in there. So I wanted to really get the, the front done properly and cover some of the grays and stuff. 
you know, I don't want to look old. I'm not ready to get there yet. I know it's coming, but, you know, I want to do my hair. My mom started to go gray young, so we inherited that from her. I've got lots in between. They're always hiding, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm going to dye my hair. I want to make some shortbread cookies today as well. Uh, I'm going to make two batches, freeze them, and then when he's coming home, I'll... Uh, take some out and put it in his cookie jar that he bought for me and so yeah we'll see how that goes so my pandora bracelet i'm not gonna get it before i go to the city for shopping so it's gonna have to stay there if it comes in uh sometime when after we come back um so we come back on a sunday we probably won't go to the post office until monday or tuesday to pick up the mail and um, I tried to track it but it's showing that it's in Ontario for the longest time like it's not moving from there I know it's a time when it's a busy month people are sending out a lot of packages and mail and stuff but geez you know they should have at least sent it out as express mail or something so that it gets here fast you know what I mean and then they're so rude when you try to send them an email. They try to make you look like an idiot. Like, you know, you've asked a stupid question. You know, and I don't like that. I mean, I'm giving them my money. So I expect good service. But that's how it is, I guess. So that didn't come in yet. And uh, I've got... Uh, Another order on Amazon. I was hoping it would come before we took that trip up there, but it didn't come. And I'm trying to track it, and it's saying that it should be here. It was supposed to be here yesterday. Now it's saying it's going to be here today. So I don't know what's going on there. It's just weird. So, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I did some laundry yesterday. I've got some stuff on the drying rack, and... I'm going to try and fold up, put it away, and at least I've got all my pajama bottoms and stuff washed and clean, so I can decide which ones I'm going to take. Actually, I can wear one and just wear that, because I'm only going to wear it at night anyways to sleep in, and their room is always cool. Hope I remember to bring my slippers as well because the floor is always cold there and I always say I'm going to remember and I forget to pack them. So I hope this time I don't forget. I'm going to do a video showing you guys when I'm packing and stuff like that. I have to pack some of his shirts and stuff like that too. I mean, I'm so excited. I'm hoping I can visit all the stores that I want to see when I get there. When we go there the first day, we're going to be exhausted because it's going to be a long drive, like four or five hours, especially with lots of snow on the road. You really have to be cautious at this time. So we're going to probably be driving a little bit slow. Then we have to first drop the dog off at the kennel. We're going to pick him up on Sunday when we're coming home. And um, I would have loved to have him with us. But like I said, we're going to be shopping. We're going to be out a lot. We can't leave him in the vehicle for too long unless we keep turning the heat on for him in there all the time. So it's better he goes where he can have you know, other dogs to play with and stuff. So we're going to drop him off first. I got to get some stuff ready for him too. Like I pack a big container of his food and things like that. So guys, I was talking and my camera just shut off. So what I was saying was that when we get to the city, we're going to drop him off at his kennel. Go to our room, check in, put our luggage away, make sure we like the room. Then we're going to do some shopping at the liquidation store. Um, it's called a strip mall because it's got a lot of little uh, shops in there. It's not a big mall, just different stores. Uh, so right there is a pet store and a hardware store. So while he's in the hardware store, I'm going to go to the liquidation world 
They sell stuff pretty cheap. It's good for stocking stuffers. They sell stuff for home, pets, clothing, and different things like that. So I'm going to go there, do that, and then we'll go to the pet store, get him some raw hide bones for Christmas and stuff like that. So, and then the next day I'm going to go to the mall and do some shopping and he might do that as well. So that's what I wanted to tell you guys quickly before this shuts off again. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you back here maybe tomorrow. I have another video in mind for you guys. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Okay guys, so nice talking to you. Bye-bye.